Bedfordshire Police Constable Naseeb Khan, or rather now former Police Constable Naseem Khan, due to him resigning from the force before his misconduct hearing, has been found to have breached the standards of professional behaviour at an accelerated misconduct hearing on Friday last week. Information into exactly what he did is limited, other than that he is said to have altered his driving licence so that he could moonlight as an Uber driver. He is said to have made the changes to his licence in September 2021, but information into what he changed and how he changed it is missing from the information that I can find. I mean, he could have altered his name so as to not be identified as a police constable. He could have changed the date of issue for some reason. I simply don't know at this point. What I do know, however, is that Naseeb Khan only joined the force in mid-2020, so was only plod for just over a year before he committed the offence, which I would imagine falls under fraud by false representation. Now, fraud by false representation comes under the Fraud Act of 2006 and is where a person A. dishonestly makes a false representation and B. intends by making a representation either to make a gain for himself or another or to cause loss to another or to expose another to a risk of loss. But it seems upon admitting the offence, he simply received a community resolution order. A CRO is meant for minor low level offences or antisocial behaviour incidents, which allows the person to be dealt with with no formal criminal justice sanctions. Something I'm pretty sure a member of the public wouldn't have been offered for a fraud offence, but hey, he was a copper at the time, so I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. The misconduct hearing was chaired by Bedfordshire Police Chief Constable Trevor Rodenhurst, who found that Khan breached the standards for professional behaviour in relation to honesty and integrity and discreditable conduct. It was decided that Khan would have been dismissed had he not already resigned, so in effect has completely avoided any real punishment. Along with the dismissal ruling, Khan is also said to be having his name added to the College of Policing's barred list. Chief Constable Trevor Rodenhurst said, The single most important value and standard I require of my officers is to maintain, to maintain, to ensure public confidence and trust in Bedfordshire Police is in honesty and integrity. The actions of this officer involved research and were clearly dishonest and criminal in nature, as accepted by him. Whilst I have some sympathy for his personal circumstances, this in no way mitigates his actions which fall far below the standard I expect. Now, I don't know what these personal circumstances were, but clearly some BS story to try and mitigate his actions. I'm glad Chief Constable didn't accept them. But having admitted changing the details on his licence in order to, for him to make some kind of gain for himself... I am disappointed that he hasn't been charged with fraud by false representation or something else and been dealt with in the same manner that a regular member of the public would have been dealt with. The Crown Prosecution's website states that in a fraud by false representation case, the defendant must have A. made a false representation, B. dishonestly, C. knowing that the representation was or might be untrue or misleading, and D. with the intent to make a gain for himself or another to cause loss to another or to expose another to risk of loss. Which basically sounds like what Khan did. So how come he got a community resolution order and not sent to court? Now obviously, fraud by false representation is just my opinion on what he's done and isn't necessarily what he has done per se. So bear that in mind, I'm not giving any legal advice in that situation or in this situation, it's just an opinion based on what I've researched and what I know.